everyone, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sharing how you can get high-end looking wall art pieces for your home using thrifted frames and art prints. With a little bit of patience and a little bit of work, you can end up with some really beautiful, unique pieces that look like they cost a lot more money than you actually spent. So I'm gonna share a couple of my tips, tricks, secrets to getting that high-end look. And I am sharing a few different thrifted frame projects that I am working on so you can kind of see the whole process from start to finish. So I have a few different pieces of thrifted frames set up here, ones that I'm going to work on. Well, this is a custom piece of art of my cats, obviously. And you know, it does have sentimental value and all that but if you have ever gotten anything custom framed at like michael's or hobby lobby you know how expensive it can be and a really good way to cut down costs not only on custom framing but on just regular frames you want to use for artwork around your house thrift thrift stores and by far my favorite is salvation army they have this so many good options and like so much art to go through as opposed to like Goodwill. I don't feel like I see as much there. So this big frame I did get from Salvation Army. It had a different piece of artwork in it. Basically the frame I think I paid like $7 for or something. And then what I did is brought the frame and the art print into Michael's and they did the custom matting so I paid for the custom matting and then for them to assemble it so if I have like a piece of artwork that I want to frame for I'll make a note of what the dimensions are in my phone and so every time I go out thrifting I can you know go through the frames and see if I can find something that works for a specific piece of artwork I knew this was like gonna be a big piece so I was specifically looking for a larger frame if you don't like the color of something don't be afraid because you can always paint it this has like this red kind of area in here i wasn't sure how i was gonna feel about it with the print and i don't really like red anyway so i'm still just not a fan of it so what i'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of black paint and do some black detail work in here otherwise i do like the chippy kind of antique gold look still these are two more art pieces I picked up from Salvation Army not too long ago and the frames are nice but I actually do really like the botanical prints in them. The frames themselves are kind of outdated and goofy looking so we will update the frames but keep this artwork and see if we can make it work. These I paid $2.99 for each. First up, I am disassembling the frame. In a sec, you will see I had an unfortunate little mishap. Uh-oh. I really hope I didn't just break that glass. Oh! Pissing biscuits, I did! <sighs> I broke the glass, you guys, trying to open it. I'm so upset. I'm not, I haven't measured this, so I don't know if it's a standard size that I could easily replace, but I mean, at the end of the day, I only spent $3 on it. So I just use a X-Acto knife to cut through the brown paper and some pliers to pull out the staples or nails. You guys, after this, I'm going to go get my vacuum and make sure I get up any loose staples or glass shards to make sure my cats don't get hurt. Just as an FYI, not completely careless. All right, so I have never seen these like edging plastic pieces. Ooh, but I think they're gonna pop right off. Yes, maybe. You know what though, you guys, I pulled all these out and what I should have done is just bent them so I could bend them back into place when I'm done. Now I don't have anything to secure this all back together when it's done. So that was poor thinking ahead on my part. I'll probably just end up using duct tape or whatever, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. And I decided to paint these pair of frames a nice 
gilded gold color. I am using my favorite gilding paint. I'll have that and a few other things I mentioned in this video link below in the description box. I prefer this gilding paint over any gold colored spray paint because it gives you way more of that foiled metallic sheen. I will say it can be a little stinky, so I try to use it outside as much as possible. And I also try to use some of my older craft paint brushes that have already been beat up so I can just toss them when I'm done. Since this is an oil-based paint, I did spray paint the bat board black. You can successfully spray paint matting using a flat or matte spray paint and go very light handed so the matte board doesn't get all saggy. So then what I do is mark the center point of the frame for any like smaller sized artwork like this. I almost will always use the little toothy hanger thing. So I will just line that up with my center mark and nail it in. Make sure you have something soft under your frame so you don't scratch or hurt it. And I did end up just using a little bit of duct tape to secure the back in place. I think this is where I'm gonna hang the pair of botanical prints. This is my entryway. I have this large canvas painting here hanging right now. I got this like a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby. Um, marked down super cheap. I probably paid like 10 or $12 for it and it's really big. But, and I think it is pretty, but my problem with these sort of things is they just look too manufactured and just, they look cheap to me. I'm just not a fan of mass produced artwork and like getting everything from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby or some places like that. While I do think you can find some nice gems there, it just doesn't have the same character or personal touch. So I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with this, but it's coming down now. Here's a look at how my frames turned out. The one on the left is still without a piece of glass, unfortunately, and hopefully soon I can find a replacement piece of glass for that. I think these look so high end. This looks like something that would have cost one to $200 at, you know, Pottery Barn or something. I just love it so much. Obviously I have some holes to patch up there. And then these are two other frames and prints that I picked up. These were $1.99 a piece. So what I really usually look for like in frames if I can are solid wood. So these are obviously beat to all hell, but they are solid wood with a little bit of sandpaper and a fresh coat of paint. These will look really nice. I also really like the, the linen matting in here. So that is another element I can reuse. The prints themselves are actually not bad. I kind of like these ducks. They are quite a bit faded though, so I'll probably not use them. I highly recommend going to your local thrift stores don't pay attention to the artwork. Sometimes you can come across a few gems like, like these were for me, but don't pay attention to the artwork. Just look at the frames, look at the matting, um, look at the structure. Uh, just a new art print and a little bit of paint can go a long way and you can save a ton of money. So here again, I am following the same kind of disassembling process. Eh, it's not the easiest sitch, but... God, careful. All right, so we got the ducks out. So ideally these two frames would look really nice together because they are a matching pair, but I think I'm actually gonna end up separating them. And because these had a lot more scratches and marks on them, I did use some light grit sandpaper on them just to try to smooth them out a little bit. And I am using this satin black spray paint that I just had on hand. You will also see the two matte boards from the previous frame project I did. And this is where I learned the mistake of not using anything but flat or matte sheened spray paint on these. I tried the satin and it looked super blotchy. So don't do that. 
and then I decided to add just a little extra gold details to these two black frames once again using my favorite gilding paint and a small craft brush when you run your small brush along those edges it kind of just stays in place and glides along the ridges what would also work really well are some paint markers all right here is how the frames came out all finished I absolutely love them. I think they look so good and so high-end. The gold paint isn't like perfect, but no one's really gonna notice it unless they are sitting there staring at it up close. And I'm gonna put one of them together right now. I've got the mat board back here. I've got this little Ouija board screen print art here. This print was on the wall in my old house and made an appearance in a few of my videos and I had a fair amount of people freaking out at me in the comments so I like spooky things that's just my thing um so but let's get this put back together I've got some glass cleaner so I can clean the glass these were actually way dirtier than I actually thought they were so I gave them a good scrub down in my sink with hot soapy water and now I'm gonna use the glass cleaner because I do still see some water marks on them but they were really scuzzy. Once again I am adding some of these little tooth hangers to the back of these small frames. All right, so a bunch of the little nails that hold this shut fell out and were being difficult. <laughs> and there's no way in heck I'm gonna be able to replicate that and replace it. I can't even hardly get some of these down. But since it's the back, I'm gonna go ahead and use some good old fashioned duct tape to hold it in. And if you ever wanna take it out, all you have to do is just slice this with a exacto or whatever and it should be perfectly fine. Kind of just like rattle it around to make sure it's secure. Woo, look at that. That looks so good and fancy in my opinion. <laughs> the gold like elevates it and makes it feel kind of vintage. It's like traditional but make it spooky which is exactly my style so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on the back $1.99 I paid $1.99 it just looks so high-end I love it <laughs> and I ended up hanging this up in my bedroom. I thought it paired really nicely with my haunted mansion print. And then I'm sharing one more little frame makeover with you guys. I had picked up these tiny little round frames quite a while ago from Salvation Army. I really loved the round shape and the details of them. So I'm just disassembling them and once again using my gold paint to cover the existing gold that was on the frame and so it was just kind of plasticky and dull looking and then where the red detailing was on the frame i am going in with my black waverly chalk paint and just adding a nice sharp black detail Since these are so tiny, I just printed out a couple of art prints on my regular computer paper at home. I used the glass to get my oval shape traced around them and cut them out and just replace them in the frames. This is another piece of artwork that I did a similar situation with. The uh, frame is thrifted and it is a solid wood frame and I used some gold rub and buff on the wood to give it this gold sheen and then I got 
this print printed out at a local print shop that I like to use. Brought it to Michael's with the frame and then just purchased the custom matting for it and they assembled it. So probably saved at least half as much as this would have costed with a custom frame. So like I said, solid wood, just good, good shape, good bones, a little bit of paint, put in a little bit of effort. If you're still watching this video, I hope you found it helpful and informational. If so, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below for more DIY and home decor related content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.